And my name is Adrian Emmanuel Hernandez Acosta, and I am a postdoctoral fellow at the Hispanic Studies Department. I'm an interdisciplinary humanities scholar whose research explores the role played morning in the formation of race, religion, gender, and sexuality through readings of African diaspora religion, Hispanic and Caribbean literature and culture. My current research project provides critical inventory of the ways in which African diaspora religions, broadly understood to include not only Cuban, Santeria, and Dominican Vodou, but also Caribbean forms of Christianity and spiritism. These religions are portrayed in scenes of death and mourning within literature, cinema, and visual art. This critical inventory theorizes what I call a mortuary poetics, that is an analytic that enables me to study the various literary and artistic techniques by which portrayals of the religions circumvent social and psychic losses sustained within structures of power that disproportionately affect racialized, feminine, queer, and trans persons, all while contending material loss of radical singular embodiment for which there is no resurrection. Therefore, mortuary poetics takes anti-Black racism and antagonism against feminine, queer, and trans life as salient context within which both cultural objects and their creators work through mourning. My project tarries possibilities and limits of mortuary poetics in ways that touch on broader theoretical and methodological questions of historical opacity, retrieval, and continuity, questions that are familiar to and indeed animate the study of literature, religion, sex, like race, gender, and sexuality. I approach these broader questions with an understanding of racial formation, not only as historically dynamic and geographically specific, but also as traveling along transnational circuits shaped as much by colonial legacy as by anti-colonial solidarity, with all the fraught complexity that comes with those solidarities. To that end, my work highlights the importance of centering both the Dominican Republic in regional and hemispheric histories of and ethnicity, and Dominican Vodou in the study of African diaspora religions, a subfield that has historically been dominated by other traditions. For example, my work responds to Black Dominican scholar Silvio Torres Ayan's claim that the Dominican Republic is historically, quote, the cradle of racial Blackness in the Americas. The readings of contemporary Dominican literature and cinema that begin with the death of a major character like the 2017 film Cocote by Nelson Carlo de los Santos Arias, or the 2014 novella Mata y la Nada by the late Alana Lockwood, I argue that the cradle of which Torres Sayan speaks is also a cemetery, and therefore claims to new beginnings contend with the continuities that structure such beginnings. And here I'm thinking theoretically with both Sevilla Hartman's and Jacques Derrida's respective reconstructions of periodization afterlife in Hartman's case and ontology in Derrida's case, both terms, of course, emphasizing the ghostly or the spectral. As another example, I also read scenes from the Dominican writer Rita Indiana Hernandez's dystopian novel, La Mucama de Omicunle, or Tentacle, as it is known in its official English translation, to demonstrate how these historical continuities shape racialized genders and sexualities. I walk with central queer and trans characters to analyze how they generatively reformulate the ways in which death and mourning organize racialized temporality, all while in ritual relations with divine forces. Today, I'm interested in how Black and other racialized Dominican, Puerto Rican, and Cuban characters and their creators use as for religious resources to alleviate or otherwise respond to the psychic distress that brought on not only by personal loss, but also by its recurrence in a world seemingly determined to let the lives of so many away. Thanks for hearing me out, and I hope to meet at least some of those from the Brown community listening today throughout this year.